okay so i've been promising this video to a few of you for quite some time so today i'll go over my budget friendly and adaptable astrophotography setup and uh, how i manage my power supply okay so first let's start with the most important thing which is probably the mount and i'm using the skywatcher alt s gti and when i get asked why i chose this one over some other similar mounts like the star adventurer and the ioptron's uh, sky guider pro the answer is actually very simple, the performance of those mounts is very similar and the total payload capacity is exactly the same, so around 11 pounds, that's 5 kilograms, and the only thing that the GTI mount has going for it, um, why I chose it is because it has a go-to function and in my mind it makes it a lot easier and more fun to use, so yeah that's basically the only reason why I chose it. Except uh, some of you may be interested that uh, you can use it in alt mode, so that's uh, very nice for visual astronomy. But I never bothered uh, with it, so yeah, it's nice to have uh, both of those options. But uh, let me just mention that if you want to use it in equatorial mode, uh, you will have to purchase uh, a polar wedge because it uh, doesn't come included. And I just went for the polar wedge for the Star Adventure, which works uh, fairly well. And you also have to do a firmware update which I already made a video on, so I think that that's basically it about the mount. Uh, it's not uh, much more to say, and if uh, you've seen uh, any of my previous videos, you kind of uh, know what uh, kind of images you can expect uh, from it. And almost after a year of uh, constantly overloading it, it uh, doesn't show any signs of wear, so that's uh, good to see. And I'll almost uh, completely skip uh, the next two things, which is the telescope and the camera, because uh, both of those are very optional. I've seen some amazing setups using uh, a dedicated astro camera with a camera lens, and uh, those type of setups are even uh, more portable. But again, all of that is very optional and it depends on what you prefer. So I won't waste uh, your time in talking about this. But I want to mention that I just recently uh, switched to an off-axis guider to shear off some of the weight of my setup. And uh, the only thing that I have to say about the off-axis guider is uh, that I'm sad that I didn't make uh, the switch uh, earlier. And the next thing is what are you going to be using to run your imaging sequence and uh, guiding. So currently as some of you may know I'm using the AC Air because it's uh, a lot easier to carry around than uh, a laptop. Plus it has all the features you really need uh, built uh, into it. So guiding polar alignment uh, and of course uh, running your imaging sequence basically everything that you need and if you don't have a dedicated laptop uh, i think it's actually a cheaper solution uh, than uh, to get uh, a new laptop uh, just for asset photography but if you do rather use a laptop your main concern is uh, probably the power supply and uh, i just got this uh, little power converter and I think it costs uh, only about uh, 25 bucks, but I did make some modifications because it came uh, with a cigarette plug. So I added those two small pins so I can switch to clamps. Uh, this way I can connect uh, directly to a car battery or just switch back to the cigarette lighter plug and just charge uh, all of my batteries uh, directly in the car. Because for the mount I'm still using a set of rechargeable batteries and after a year uh, they still hold about uh, two to three nights on a single charge so i really like those but for the acr unit i'm uh, actually using a power bank that holds enough power to run uh, the acr unit for four to five days except if i'm using a do heater and i have it plugged in then i only get uh, a, a single night okay so i think i covered everything but uh, if you have still some questions or suggestions please uh, do let me know in the comments and I would really like to hear what kind of setups uh, some of you guys uh, are running. But yeah, I think that that's about it. So I would like to thank you for watching and see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.